All right, so uh, just a quick um, overview again of our homework. Uh, so we have to pick whether it's a permutation or a combination. And so uh, for number one, I'm not going to do either one, but uh, the hint is, again, one of them is going to be a permutation, one of them is going to be a combination. So if you're selecting six numbers out of um, 50 total, uh, again, 50, you, you could have any of those numbers. You're picking six of them for a lottery. Let's say no repetitions allowed. How many ways can you select the six numbers if the order matters? In other words, a lottery, if you if you guess 2, 3, 14, 27, 28, 29, those are your six numbers, but the winning ticket is 49, 28, 27, 14, 3, 2, you don't win because I'm counting this as something different than this. We say order matters. <clears throat> is that a permutation or a combination? Note for this one, you can also use the fundamental and multiplication counting principle. Uh, what if the order does not matter? So that would be, I'm counting 2, 3, 14, 27, 28, 49 as the same as 49, 28, 27, 14, 3, 2, which is the same as 2, 14, 3, 27, 49, 28, etc. Would that be a permutation and a combination? Again, it's it's going to be 50, there's a total pool, P6 or 50C6. And you can work it out on hand or you can type it into Desmos. Okay. Let's do some examples. So number two, you are in a studio audience, you and your friend, and uh, from 300 people, two people are selected as contestants. So ask yourself, does order matter? So in other words, uh, if I'm picking two people, uh, is the if, I, if the two contestants are me and my friend, is that different than my friend and me, right? No, right? Order does not matter. This being the two contestants is the same as this being the two contestants, so we're gonna use combinations. Combinations means order does not matter. Okay, so what's the chance that me and my friend are chosen? So again, for probability problems, you have to kind of do two uh, in one. So first, the denominator. How many ways total are there to pick two contestants from 300 people? Again, because order doesn't matter, we're going to use combinations. So we're going to say it is 300 C2. 300 C2. Because I'm picking two people from a total pool of 300. Again, if you want to do the formula, it's 300 factorial on the top over 300 minus 2, 298 factorial. And then because of the combinations, we have to divide by this extra overcount factor. So again, you, you don't have to do it by hand, but if you do, almost everything cancels out. You're just left with 300 times 299 over 2. And you can punch that in and get 44850. Or you can go to Desmos. Desmos.com, again, type NCR, lowercase n, capital C, capital, uh, lowercase r, parenthesis, 300, comma, 2. And it tells you there's uh, 44,850 ways to pick 2 from 300. Then for the numerator, you think, how many different ways are there for me to get what I want for success? Well, me and my friend and my friend and me. So maybe you think 2. But remember, this is combinations. We're not actually counting these as separate things. There's only one way. You and your friend, your friend and you count as one thing. You can also think of it as 2C2. Two two. From two, I'm picking two, which if you punch that in is one way. So that's a very low chance, 0.002% chance of you and your friend both being picked out of those 300. All right, number three. So I've got 10 students and we're auditioning for a play here. Uh, the roles are for Belle, Gaston, and the Beast. And we're gonna randomly assign them from 10 students. How many ways can these three roles be filled? So again, we're gonna ask ourselves, does order matter? So if student A is Belle, and student B is Gaston, and student C is the Beast, is that different than if student C is Belle, student A is Gaston, and student B is the Beast? Yes, that's different. In this case, order matters. A, B, C is different than C, A, B, which is different than C, B, A, etc. So if order matters, right, order matters, we're gonna use permutations. Okay, so again, permutations, when you, whenever you use permutations, you can also use the multiplication counting principle. Okay, so again, permutations is we're going to say from 10, there's 10 students, I'm going to select 3 where order matters. I can say 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial. Again, that's all we need. We don't need the extra number because that's combinations. There is no overcount. We're counting all these separately. So it's 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. Those cancel out. We're left with 10 times 9 times 8. You can also punch that into Desmos. Right, NPR 10 comma 3, 720. Or you can even use the multiplication counting principle, right? You can think, all right, I've got 10 students available for the uh, role of Bell times 9 students available for the role of the uh, Gaston times 8 times for the role of the Beast, 720 possible ways. 
So again, this problem was just counting the number of ways, but what if I want to find the probability that I'm going to be the bell, I'm going to be bell, your friend number one is going to be Gaston, and friend number two is the beast. So probability always involves a numerator and a denominator. We already figured out the denominator, which is how many, from these 10 students, how many possibilities, ways are there to pick these roles? We found out that's 720. And then how many, uh, again, in the, in the numerator, how many different ways is it for me to end up with Bell? Friend number one is Gaston, friend number two is the Beast. Well, because that's a specific order, we can think of it as 3P3, which is going to give us one. Remember, zero factorial is one. Or we can punch that in. Or we can just think about it. But how many ways is it for me to be Bell? Friend one to be Gaston, friend two to be Beast. There's only one way, right? I'm not I'm not allowing there to be any like, uh, I can be Gaston, my friend can be Bell. No, it has to be just, there's only one way. So there's only one out of 720 chance 0.14% chance, very low percent chance. C is going to ask you something different. C is going to ask you, what's the chance that, hey, my friends, friend one, friend two, and me, we, we end up with those three roles, but we don't care who gets what roles. Okay, so the denominator is going to be the same, 720, but the numerator, now it's like we, we have more chances for success because we're we're okay if, I, if I'm Bell and you're Gaston and the other person is the Beast, or if I'm the Beast and they're Gaston. So... How can you calculate that? Remember, order matters, so you can use permutations, you can use multiplication counting principle, you can even just write out the sample space because it's so few. Okay, so try that. Uh, all right, the bike problem. Okay, so figure out that one. Number five. All right, last uh, bit here. Number five, your teacher wants to send two students to a student council meeting. There are 25 students in your class. How many ways can a student choose two students? This is not probability, we're just counting the number of ways. Okay, so we think, all right, does the order matter? If I'm sending two students to a meeting, does order matter? So if A and B go to the meeting, is that different than B and A going to the meeting? No, A, B should be the same as B, A. Order does not matter. So that's going to be no. So we're going to use combinations. We're not going to use permutations. Okay, so from there we can just say, okay, so from how many am I picking my students? From a pool of 25, I'm picking two and order does not matter. Okay, from a pool of 25, I'm picking two, so we could say that's 25C2. 25C2, 25 factorial over 25 minus 2 factorial with that extra overcount factor here. And you can do the math, 25 times 24 times 23 factorial, all the rest of those cancel out. So 25 times 24 over 2 times 1. So it's basically just 25 times 12, which is 300 ways. Or you can punch it in to Desmos, 300 ways. And then we can use that for a probability problem, okay? So for a probability problem, we can say, all right, what is the probability that you and your friend end up going to that meeting, right? What's the chance that you and your friend go to that meeting? So again, the denominator is the total number of ways to choose two students from 25. That's the total number of outcomes. Out of those, on the top, how many ways is it for me and my friend to get chosen? And again, you might think, me and my friend, my friend and me, that's two. But again, order doesn't matter. We're counting those as the same thing. So we say that's 2C2 two or 1. You can just think of it as 1. And then the denominator, how many ways can we choose 2 from 25 if order doesn't matter? We already calculated that. It's 25C2 or 300. So my probability is 1 out of 300 or 0.3%. Okay, so try the rest.